I've designed this project where it only needs one 1 by 12 by 12 foot board. Uh, it does mean that I will have to rip the board as a 12 foot length, but I don't see as much as a problem. I'm going to begin by making this all a uniform thickness by taking a small pass at the thickness planer. Now that I planed it to an even thickness, I am going to take it over to the table saw and I will first begin by ripping a clean edge and then I will flip it around and use a clean edge to reference off of and cut three three inch strips and one one and a half inch. just finished ripping my pieces down so I have three 12 foot lengths of three inch wide boards and one 12 foot length of one and a half inch wide boards now I'm going to take them to the miter saw and cross cut them to their final lengths Well, I got all the pieces cut down to their final sizes, and that's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, tomorrow when I get in the shop, I'm going to start drilling out pocket holes for all the pieces that need it, and then if I have time, I will start assembling it. Now with the panels put together, I'm going to start filling all the pocket holes with the pocket plugs. And then once they are dry, I will sand them flush and then begin the final assembly. After the glue on the pocket holes are dry, I first come in with an oscillating tool and cut off the top of them. Then I come back in with a sander and sand them flush. piece of sand and smooth I'm going to run over all the sharp all the edges with a 45 degree chamfering bit and I want to do that just because because this is a bassinet I don't want the baby getting hurt or anything like that so I'm going to over, run over all the edges with this and then I'm going to sand it some more up to 120 before I begin the final
After I got it assembled, I sanded everything to 320 and then put a coat of red oak stain and then a few coats of spray polyurethane.